Before the Big Six and Hadid family spilled from magazine pages across the world, Jean, the shrimp, Shrimpton was setting the mold for generations of supermodels to come. Born in England in 1942, Shrimpton's modeling career skyrocketed before she turned 21. She graced the covers of fashion's biggest publications within a few years of her first photo shoot, catapulted by her gamine style and doe-eyed beauty. Dubbed the face of the 60s, Shrimpton's ethereal appeal reflected the eccentric youthquake movement of the decade in London. While her external charm dominated the fashion industry, Shrimpton's tumultuous love life trickled through media and public gossip until her premature retirement in her early 30s. CR looks back on lesser-known facts about the notoriously private supermodel. She grew up on a farm Shrimpton's childhood was spent with animals and sprawling nature, on her family's farm in rural Buckinghamshire. She studied to become a secretary the supermodel originally followed a traditional career path, enrolling in Langham Secretarial College in London and getting by with a 140 words per minute average. Her introduction to modeling was a rejection after bumping into director Cy Enfield in a London drugstore, Shrimpton auditioned for his film Mysterious Island, but was rejected. However, Enfield advised the then 17-year-old to enroll in a Charm Academy model course, advice that eventually catalyzed her career. Her big break came with a In Man Shrimpton was first introduced to actor Terence Stamp by Bailey, who was photographing them for a fashion magazine. Their paths would cross again at a wedding, and the pair soon became an item. They dated for three years, although, reflecting on the relationship, Shrimpton once said that, we were two pretty people wandering around thinking we were important. She hated flying Shrimpton didn't board an airplane until she had to fly from London to New York for a photo shoot in 1962, over one year after her modeling career took off. She accidentally invented the miniskirt in 1965, on her way to a week-long promotional appearance in Australia, Shrimpton's dressmaker ran out of fabric. They improvised four outfits that ended above the knee, and the miniskirt revolution was born. She had a brief stint in film Shrimpton starred next to Paul Jones in the 1967 film Privilege, and was featured in the 1970 short independent film Double Pisces, Scorpio Rising. The industry runs in the family Shrimpton's younger sister Chrissy was also an actress and model, and famously dated Rolling Stone's frontman Mick Jagger from 1963 to 1966. She owned an antique shop Shrimpton's first venture out of modeling retirement was opening an antiques shop in Cornwall. She stepped across the lens while running her antiques shop away from the public eye, Shrimpton explored her own interests in black and white photography. Her subjects mainly included Cornwall residents and animals, and have never been exhibited in a gallery. She now works in hospitality in 1979, Shrimpton and her husband Michael Cuz bought the Abbey Hotel in Penzance, which the couple has owned and operated for nearly 40 years. She appeared on a home renovation show Shrimpton's Hotel was featured on an episode of Country House Rescue in 2011 because the roof needed a renovation she never liked the limelight since her early retirement, Shrimpton has dodged photographers and rarely spoken to press. In a rare 2011 interview she said, I've hated publicity all my life. I didn't even like it when I was a model. She was the original it girl throughout the course of her relatively short career, Shrimpton was crowned the world's highest paid model most photographed in the world, and the world's most beautiful face, by the countless magazines she fronted. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel for more biography videos.